Hello students. In this video, we are going to write these linear systems of ODEs as matrix systems, and then we're going to determine what the equilibrium solutions are for each of these systems. Right? So here's two examples on how to do that. So first off, on the system on the left, I'm just going to simply write that as a system. And you have seen this before when you solve linear equations. You essentially just pick off the coefficients on the right hand side here and you get the 4 minus 3, 5, 2. That becomes the, those become the entries of the matrix and the variables get set up as a column vector. You could double check your work by just performing the matrix vector multiplication. 4x minus 3y is the top row. 5x plus 2y is the bottom row. And then we have x primed, y primed is equal to this matrix vector multiplication. So here we have a matrix system. Next, we have a similar situation with this example on the right. We have x primed, y primed becomes a column vector. We just pick off the coefficients, 2, 1, 3, 2 times x, y. And then what do we do with the minus 5 and a 9? Well, that becomes this term here. And we're just going to add this vector to this system of equations. Again, you can see what's happening here. If you do the matrix vector multiply, if x primed is equal to, then 2x plus y, when you do the multiplication, minus 5. That's the top equation. Likewise, 3x plus 2y plus 9 is the bottom equation. Now, we're going to determine what the equilibrium solutions are. So we'll get the equilibria of these systems. Remember that the equilibrium solution occurs when the x prime and y prime are each equal to zero. So that means that the column vector, x prime, y primed, would be equal to the zero vector. So that's what we have to do is set up this system here where zero zeros on the left hand side and then that's equal to this matrix equation. Well, I just rewrote that. I just put the zero on the right hand side here. And to designate that we're solving for the equilibrium solution and not simply for x and y, I'm going to designate the components of this column vector by x sub e and y sub e to denote the equilibrium solution for x and the equilibrium solution for y. Now we have to solve this system of equations. That's actually fairly simple. If you remember your linear algebra, if you take the determinants of this matrix, you get 8 plus 15, which is 23, which is not equal to 0. That means that this matrix has an inverse, and if you apply the inverse to both sides, you would have the inverse matrix times the zero vector would give you zero, would give you the zero vector. Likewise, you could just know that this matrix is not singular. That means you have a unique solution. Since zero is a solution to the system, it has to be the solution. Or if you like, you could go through with solving this system by using something like Kramer's rule. Since the determinant of the coefficient matrix is 23, I just put those on the bottom. And then I replace the right-hand side with the first column for x and with the second column for y. And then to correspond with the first column here being for x and the second column here being for y. And then um, 0 is the determinant of the top. So 0 over 23 is 0. 0 is the determinant of the uh, numerator here. So 0 over 23 is equal to 0. So three different ways to look at how to get uh, zero for the equilibrium solution for this system. Okay, this one will be a little bit more interesting. We'll do something similar. We have x primed, y primed, that column vector is equal to the zero vector, so I put that on the right hand side, except we have this system now where we have this minus five, nine column vector, and I'm just going to push that over to the other side, and of course that changes sign, and we get five minus nine. And now we just have to solve this system. Well, you can use elimination to solve it, or you can revert back to Kramer's rule. If I take the determinant of the coefficient matrix, I get 4 minus 3, which is 1. And then if I take the, in the numerator, if I replace the first column with the right-hand side, I get 10 minus minus 9, so 10 plus 9 is 19. And then likewise, I get 2 times minus 9 is minus 18, minus 15, eight, minus 18 minus 15 is minus 33. So we get for the equilibrium solution, 
for this system, we get x, the x equilibrium solution is 19 and the y equilibrium solution is minus 33. And so let me just summarize our results here. For this system on the left, we got an equilibrium solution of 0, 0. So notice that if you put 0 for x primed and 0 for y primed, if I substitute 0 for x and 0 for y, of course it satisfies that equilibrium solution. Likewise, the equilibrium solution here was the vector 19 minus 33. And if you plug in 19 minus 33 into this system, you get 2 times 19, which is 38, plus minus 33. So 38 minus 33 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. Yes, that's what exactly what we want because we want the equilibrium solution to satisfy when x prime is equal to 0. Likewise, 3 times 19 is 57, plus 2 times minus 33 is minus 66. 57 minus 66 is minus 9, minus 9 plus 9 is 0, and indeed that's what we want. We want to know when y prime is equal to 0. And so this vector satisfies this system when x prime y prime is equal to the 0 vector. All right, so that is how you convert a linear system of ODEs to a matrix equation, and then how you determine what the equilibrium solutions are. Okay, good luck.